in this Office 365 tip, I'd like to remind you and then show you how to make sure that you're adding the correct OneNote to your Microsoft team. Keep in mind that uh, when you build a Microsoft team, it provisions a OneNote for you automatically. I've seen plenty of people go and create new OneNotes, which then isn't the same one as the one on the SharePoint site. So let's just take some basic steps through that. If I'm uh, on the general tab in my team and I go and click on um, add OneNote, now at the moment my team's name is SharePoint Team Sites. Okay, so if I go to Browse Notebook, I'll actually see it there. But a lot of times when you create a new team, you don't see that uh, OneNote there immediately. It takes some time for all of that um, to actually pull through and the integrations to work. So if you don't see the um, specific team's notebook there to choose, I would definitely work with paste OneNote link. So where do I get the link to this OneNote? Now, while I'm in this new team, if I go to files and I click on open in SharePoint, this will open the SharePoint site that sits behind this team. Of course, that, uh, that is the master I want to drive all the content on this uh, team for me as well. So if I open that SharePoint team site, here it is. There's my documents library and there is my notebook as well. So when the notebook loads, and this is now the notebook for the specific team, as soon as this notebook loads, the test I normally do, and it's just a bit of a craziness that I do, is that I'll go and create a section and a page in here to make sure that the OneNote that I add on my team is actually the correct OneNote because I should be seeing the same data on both sides. I definitely don't want to end up with two notebooks. So once I've got the notebook open, I'm going to copy that URL, go back to my team, and uh, I'm going to add OneNote, and I'm going to use the URL link. So remember, if you can't pick the existing OneNote, if you don't see it, do not create a new one. I'm going to just save this now, and as soon as it's added, I'm going to rename it, because it normally brings in the full name. So I'm going to just rename this to, uh, to OneNote. And I have to admit that I normally don't add the OneNote and the planners on the other channels as well. Um, the people in my teams normally know that OneNote and planner sits on the general tab, and you don't have to duplicate this, but that's completely up to you. I think another thing to realize is that um, some people are creating separate notebooks for each of the channels. Again, that's up to you. I just honestly wouldn't do that. So when I create um, OneNote, I normally create a section for each of the channels in my OneNote. So I manually create this. If I had to add another channel now, and we call this, um, so we've got innovation, uh, let's just say development. Um, so I've added another channel, I'm calling it development. Then normally in my OneNote, I'll just go and create another section. Um, that also then serves that channel for the OneNote. So in my OneNote, I would then go and create another section called um, development. So just going back, which means I have a section for each of my channels. Again, not saying you have to do that, but it works for me. I definitely want a simplified life. So having lots and lots of OneNotes is not going to work for me. And I also have to say that I want to use the OneNote that's on my SharePoint team site. So whichever way I navigate to this, and the same as the one that sits behind my Outlook. So if uh, if the group shows on my Outlook and there's a OneNote little tab at the top, that's going to be the same OneNote. So that's why this is important for me. So I'm going to add that and then of course you can add multiple pages.